Hello and welcome to another video by Haste Computer Repair. And today we're taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad T460S for use in 2024 and onward. This version of the T460S features a Intel Core i5-6300U CPU, two cores and four threads, and that features Intel HD Graphics 520. There's currently 12 gigabytes of DDR4 2400 MHz RAM installed, running at a frequency of 2133 MHz. And this particular model has four gigabytes soldered to the motherboard, but there are models with eight gigabytes soldered on, so depending on what you find, you can do various configurations of RAM. So I currently have one eight gigabyte stick installed, which equals to the 12. There's Windows 10 Pro installed on a 256 gigabyte Patriot P300 NVMe solid state drive. We're looking at a 14 inch 1920 by 1080p IPS display panel, which is a really nice feature of this S series of the T460. For Wi-Fi, we have an Intel dual band wireless AC 8260 M.2 card, which features Bluetooth 4.1. The keyboard is typical of this generation of ThinkPads and a nice feature is that this one has two-tiered backlit support. There's the characteristic red touch point right in the middle to move the cursor around. And my favorite is the touchpad with the three buttons up top. So I can switch between using the touchpad or using the red touch point while utilizing the buttons with my thumb and pinky or ring finger. We also have a fingerprint reader right here. The 720p webcam is what it is, but it gets the job done. The stock speakers are not too bad. But of course, using a good Bluetooth speaker or a good set of headphones will greatly enhance the experience. On the Ride I.O. with the laptop, there's a slot for a smart card reader, which unfortunately did not ship with this model. And there's USB 3.0, mini display port, HDMI, and USB 3.0 always on, RJ45 Ethernet port, a SIM card reader, and there's the version of the Kensington lock. On the left side, we have a 4-in-1 SD card reader, microphone and headphone combo jack, and there's a grill for the CPU fan exhaust, another USB 3.0 port, and the port for the power adapter. The top of the laptop housing the display panel is made of a carbon fiber reinforced plastic, the bottom being magnesium alloy. Here we have some air intake for the CPU fan as well as some ventilation and passive cooling. Here's a grill for the two speakers and some rubber feet that are just tall enough to let some air in for the CPU fan. Now, one thing I like about the S series of the T460 is the case material feels like it would be a little bit more durable, the drops, etc. And also how easy it is to take off the bottom panel. So all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and we'll start by removing the screws. So before you open this thing up to service, it's a good idea to shut it down Press the power button and start hitting the enter key in order to access the menu where you can press F1 to enter BIOS. But if your laptop boots directly to Windows, I'll show you one little trick that you can do. So you can hit the Windows key and type control and you can pull up control panel. Once here, we navigate to hardware and sound over to power options and then over to choose what the power buttons do. Change settings that are currently unavailable and uncheck turn on fast startup, save changes. Now we can shut down knowing that we can power back on and access the BIOS boot menu. Now this power on and start hitting enter. Once you're greeted with this screen, you can press F1. Once you're in BIOS, you can navigate over to config, down to power, down to disable built-in battery, and you can press enter. And using something like a plastic guitar pick, we can score along the side and gently release the back panel without damaging the case material. And just like that, I didn't have to time lapse or make any cuts. The T460S is really easy to access and this back panel comes off really easy. So down here we have a 3 cell 24 watt hour battery. Up here is another 3 cell 26 watt hour battery. Right here is the port for the NVMe solid state drive or M.2 SATA 3 solid state drive. Right above that is the spot for the M.2 Wi-Fi card. Right here we have the one available DIMM slot for RAM upgrades. As I said before, we have one 8GB stick installed for a total of 12GB. 
Right above that is the CPU, which has a heat pipe leading right to the CPU fan that exhausts air out this way. And here we also have access for cable connections for the power plug, the display panel, webcam, and for the speakers and touchpad and fingerprint reader. For ease of access for things like replacing the touchpad, I will just quickly take this battery out to show where you can access. Just in case you needed to install upgrades, here's the fingerprint reader, the area for the touchpad, which suggests removing a few screws, and even over here where we have the SD card reader. We can see here there's just a little plastic piece as a placeholder for the smart card reader. And also an additional plastic piece down here that I'm not too sure what that is or what would go there. Maybe you can leave me a comment below and let me know. Oh, and we also have the CMOS battery right here. And lastly, over here beside the Wi-Fi card, we have the port for a WWAN card. And normally you'd install something that would allow you to access data across cell phone networks and satellites. With a lot of different ThinkPads, you can also install a separate M.2 SSD, such as this one that I have by a company called Transcend. I noticed in the specifications for the T460S, this option is not listed, but since we have it open, let's install it and see if it shows up in BIOS or Windows. And here we can see that the M.2 SSD we just put in is indeed not an option. Now, if you want to do some video editing on the T460S, it is definitely possible to use good software. I went to the Blackmagic Support Center to find a version of DaVinci Resolve that would work with this laptop, in particular be compatible with Intel HD 520 graphics. So if you go to this URL, click on DaVinci Resolve and Fusion Software, and you can scroll through all the old versions that have been released. After some trial and error, I found that DaVinci Resolve 15 worked really well. Just be warned that you might have to find the correct Intel HD graphics driver to properly run this software. And it turned out that this driver from 2015 is the one that worked and is still available on the Intel website. So I loaded up the software and threw in some clips of me servicing a graphics card. The software actually runs pretty well. I was able to make some clips and cuts with relative ease. I wouldn't consider this a high-end editing machine. So what I've compiled here is 11 minutes and 7 seconds of 1080p footage. Let's see how long it takes to render. And we're definitely putting this little 2-core CPU to work. We're all done and it took 27 minutes and 30 seconds to render 11 minutes of 1080p footage. Now if you're just a casual editor or doing as a hobby and you're not on a strict timeline, that's not too bad at all. You can always just set it to render and go do something else. I would still consider this test a success. So now I have my Steam library loaded up on this external NVMe solid state drive, external RGB mouse attached, laptop resting on a motherboard box for extra airflow, and there's an HDMI cable connected to the T460S to my workstation PC, which houses a Elgato streaming capture device in the PCIe lane. And now we're ready to test out some games.
Now using the T460S as a daily driver is totally possible as long as you have a solid internet connection. You can surf the net with ease, watch YouTube videos in 1080p and higher resolution as well as Netflix and other streaming services etc. And other software like Office 2021 is definitely highly functional and I could definitely see myself using this at work every day. So would I recommend the T460S for use in 2024? Absolutely I would. Especially if you're looking for something that's not going to cost an arm and a leg. These are going for a fair price on the used market and we have benefits such as the base model shipping with a 1080p display so you don't have to worry about the 1366 by 768 resolutions. So if you're using a T460S in 2024, definitely let me know in the comments and let me know how it's going. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching my video and hopefully it helped you out. So have a nice day.